Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trofinet, the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Last time we killed our father. Well, not really our father, our mentor, the owl. And it seems like the sun is actually setting on Ashina. But now that we've fought our way back up to the top of Ashina Castle, beat another boss on the top of it, we actually have access to... Emma and Kuro again, so I'm wondering where this will lead to. I'm just going to commune with this thing as well, so we can warp here again. And is this still blocked? Doesn't seem to be blocked now. So let's talk to Emma first. Master Wolf, it looks as if your brow is less furrowed than before, if only a little. Hmm. Please, see that Lord Kuro's wish to sever immortality. Is met. I feel like we might have fought her instead if we chosen to uh, stick with Owl. That's interesting, but can I give her another drink actually? Aha, there we go, the monkey booze. I've never given that to her. Could give that to her or could give that to Ishin, but let's give that to her. Here. Oh, this is... <laughs> this is... Monkey booze. Something wrong? Well, let me try it. Oh, it... it burns so bad. Let's see. Yes, monkeys. I seem to have a strong connection with monkeys. Was that you an do? insult? Yes. I was rescued by a monkey after all. Well, they did call the sculptor you don't a monkey. Me, do you? When I was young, I stood alone in the aftermath of a battlefield. I was alone and staring, dumbfounded. I could do nothing, neither cry nor even get angry. Complete shock. And then there was a monkey eating a rice ball. A monkey? Maybe an ape? Maybe. Either way, he made it look so delicious. I remember being angry at that, but then, then he gave me the rice ball. It tasted so good. What a kind monkey. <laughs> yes, he was a very kind monkey. But we know who she's talking about, right? Because she's talking about the sculptor. Because the sculptor was called the monkey of something or other. We knew that from the... The item we used to create the axe, the spring-loaded axe, which is interesting. That she doesn't want to call him by his... Well, he doesn't really have a name, does he? He's just called the sculptor for us. But that's that, I think. So then we need to talk to Kuro. Oh, I destroyed his, his candle again. Sorry about that. Wolf. I am relieved to see that you are safe. And Al? I killed him. I am sorry. Lord Kuro. I am sorry. I did what had to be done. Wolf, thank you. My father, this was in his possession. <sighs> this branch. It's from the Everblossom tree? I see. So Al had it. Everblossom. Lady Emma spoke of it once. The Everblossom is a Sakura tree that was brought over from the Divine Realm by Lord Takeru. It once bloomed behind this castle. However, when a branch was cut off and the flowers taken, the Everblossom eventually dried and withered away. So this is that branch? Yes, I believe so. We are a step closer to the Fountainhead Incense. Yes. Yes, that's right, Wolf. Wait, aren't we there? I mean, we have... The burner smells faintly of sakura flowers. Okay, but that, that doesn't help us. I must remain vigilant. Wolf, I've made progress. I'm sure this is the last ingredient for the aroma. What is it? The blood of the divine heir of the dragon's heritage. In other words, my blood. Your blood? But my lord, you cannot bleed. Yes. It is true that those of the dragon's heritage cannot bleed. However, in Lord Genichiro's quarters, 
I found a curious journal belonging to Lord Takeru's page, and it appears there is a way for me to bleed. For now, I'd like to ask you to keep this for me. Page's Diary Lord Takeru held his arm over the incense burden and attempted to cut it with a sword. But incredibly, his wound healed instantly and not a drop of blood was shed. Lady Tomoe said, Without it, your blood cannot be spilled. What could she be referring to, I wonder? Without it. We talking about the mortal blade here? Now then, we just need to figure out how to make me bleed. Perhaps we should ask Lady Emma. Hmm. As a doctor, she should have much knowledge of the human body. Yes, she may be able to help us. Okay. From one to the other. Hello, Lady Emma. There is something I'd like to I'm ask. I'm really close, aren't yes, I? what is it? Can the divine air be made to bleed? Why would you seek to do so? The blood of the divine air is required to obtain the dragon tears from the divine realm and achieve immortal severance. Oh, I see. It is true that the divine heir's blood cannot be shed by normal means. However, you currently possess the means to do so. The blade. Immortal blade. Got it. Yes, here you are. Immortal severance scrap. With mortal blade in hand, my blood may be shed. With my blood, the aroma will be complete. The divine realm will be in reach. Immortal severance will be at hand. I must ask Tomoe to assist with the beheading. Wait, what? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, oh. I mean, slicing your hand to get a bit of blood is something different than beheading. This was written by Lord Takeru? It was. With the mortal blade, you may wound the divine heir, and his blood will be allowed to flow. I see. This brings us one step closer to immortal severance. I shall tell my lord. Of course. Does he heal from that wound? Because I feel like... You know, he might be not able to stop the bleeding like that, but... Hello, little man. My lord, I've procured the flower for the fountainhead aroma. Oh? Was it truly blooming in the sunken valley? Yes. Deep within the valley. So that is where the fountainhead waters pool deeply. You've done well to acquire this wolf. Okay. We knew about that already, but... Wolf, that sword on your back, is it? It is the mortal blade. The sword that can kill those who cannot die. Yes, it was given to me by the divine child of the rejuvenating waters at Sempo Temple. The divine child of the rejuvenating waters? The monks at Sempo Temple abandoned the ways of their faith in pursuit of immortality. The result is those who have false dragon's heritage. Known as the Divine Children of the Rejuvenating Waters. A false dragon's heritage. I never would have thought. Wait, Divine Children? Yes, many were created, but only one survived. Further proof of the corruption this power brings to man. The ties of immortality must be severed. Yes, my lord. Okay, but we do have everything now don't we because there's four things on the you know on the table did, there did you speak with lady emma i did and what did she say that it could be possible with the mortal blade i see so the mortal blade will allow my blood to flow as you wish this should be all of the necessary ingredients for the aroma there we Wolf, go burn the incense as you wish okay Let's, let's do that then. Whoosh. My lord. Wolf, the mortal blade. <clears throat> Fear not. I will only make a shallow cut. Would you draw the mortal blade from its sheath? Yes, my lord. Forgive me, but close your eyes. Yes, my lord. Okay. <sighs> Closing my eyes. Means the Over entire it. world goes dark. How is the wound? I'm fine. I just made a small cut on my chest. Mm. On your chest? So this is the fountainhead incense. It's so 
extraordinarily nostalgic. I see. Well, do you notice anything different? The aroma and Fountainhead Palace. Those words have been burned into my mind. Fountainhead Palace. It's just as Lord Takeru wrote. That place must lead to the Divine Realm. But how can the Fountainhead Palace be reached? I think I know. Sweetly scented yes, bridal, bridal offering, offering. offering. That was written on the altar where the fragrant stone was placed. Yes. You now carry the aroma of the Fountainhead Incense. I believe the path leading to the Fountainhead Palace will open before you if you go to the shrine within the cave. Immortality shall soon be severed. I'm counting on you, Wolf. As you wish. I knew there was something more to that bridal cave. It just kind of made sense. So, with that, might as well take a look then. So, let's warp to the bridal cave. So, back at the cave entrance... We should be able to access it from here, according to Kuro and our first thoughts. My reasoning is we probably need to go inside of the, the carriage and see how we can... Maybe it happens automatically? Or is there... Wait, is this open now? Hello? No, okay. Thought it looked like we kind of had an opening there, but doesn't seem like it. Let's go inside of this thing. Yes, there's a marker now. Let's pray. Uh oh, do we we leave the mortal blade behind, or is it just too long to be on our backs while we're praying? That also makes sense. This is some. Dragon Shrine bullshit. Oh, what the f fuck is that? And we died. Game over. I think we died. We couldn't have survived that. Whoa. What am I looking at? Oh, it's a straw giant. Okay. And he has like a wooden knob. What have these guys been snorting, by the way? Is he just gonna drop us off a bit higher? That's That would be stupid. Okay. Oh, boom! Okay. Must have been a drunk evening the night before. Am I still in there somewhere? Ah, there we go. And the sword is back on our backs for some reason. That is, that was pretty cool. Oh, look at that in the distance. That looks like heaven, all right. Okay, let's go make a dragon cry, I suppose. Ah, uh, Shina Traveler! Oh! Wait a sec- Oh! That means we're- Because that was the trophy to explore all areas in the game. Which is interesting. Um, does this mean that this is actually the final level already? That would be interesting. Although, of course, I'm already playing this for around- 30 hours or so, 20 or 30 hours. Let's commune. And that's that. Uh, do we need to do anything else? I don't think we can, right? No. Okay. Let's go. Ooh. This is pretty. We can go up there. Don't know why. Oh, God. That's the corrupted monk. But normal this time. Okay. Fight this. 
There we go. Oh, that was sweet. Okay, but it seems like she's doing less damage than the bridal gave. Ow. Take that back. I need to jump, buddy. Ah, that was a sweep as well. Ow. Okay, I'm gonna have to get used to this again. And I died. Okay. Three bars, by the way. So this might actually take a while. And there we go. Let's get a posture back. Gonna go back a bit, get my posture back. Oh wow, that was just hitting me out of the air there. And that again, okay. Just need to focus a bit. So that's actually cool. We got a taste of this beforehand. Oh wow, that's actually an attack, okay. That was four. Oh god, yeah. Oh, that's actually not that, okay. Heal. There we go, that's the first one. So the flex are really important. So the music changed, oh god. That's not good. Ow! Okay! I was trying to stay on the trees for that one, but apparently not. Let's resurrect again. That's a mickey encounter, and I'm dead. Okay. So staying close and deflecting everything she throws at you seems to be the quickest option. And there we go. That's the first one. Okay, I can hit it a few times while we're doing this. Just gonna run away in this phase. Oh god. Do I need to hit her somehow? Ah, oh, there we go. Up again. Damn it. Ah, she got me. Oh, and she got me in the back. Ah, okay. So I could technically resurrect now. And try one more time. And a sidestep. Oh, 
Oh, that's a sweep. That's a sweep. And there we go to the second death blow. But now... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, this is stupid. No, 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 no. Oh, there's a the circle attack again. And wow, that kept coming. I couldn't handle that. That was a bit too much. There we go. That's the first one. <laughs> Okay, that's only one hit. Need to be careful. So I think the second one I should always dodge, probably. That was three healing gourds on just that one phase, so I think running away is bad. If Oh, I'm gonna heal. Heal when I can. Oh, that was a chum. Oh, and that didn't deflect for some reason. Okay. Okay, now back in the middle, I suppose. Come on, buddy. Ah, oh, come on. Oh. There we go. That's not gonna help me much, is it? And there's the worm. I'm gonna try a bit of fight. Oop! I'm gonna have to go back. Oh, wow! Jesus Christ. Okay. There we go. There we go. Mickey recounted. And there we go. A couple of counters in a row. And we're pretty fine right now. Oh, and I need to jump there. Let's get back and get my posture back. Oh, no. She's not going to give me the chance to do that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, and I got slapped in the face. There we go. It's another one. 
I'm starting to get the hang of it, but that last phase is a bit too much. Oh wow, that's a one-hit kill! Holy shit, that just tires you immediately. Ah, there we go. Some perfect dodges in the flex. <clears throat> and you get to this next phase rather quickly. I'm still at... Ah, that's why. I'm still at... At pallets. Still at pallets. Okay, now I'm at gourds. Just gonna dodge on that last one, because it's really... Finicky. There we go. There we go. Ah, that one hurt. Also went through my... Through my posture. No, no. Oh, shit. That's not good. gonna heal here and then run back across the bridge oh god ah and he got me good enough heal up and then slash it over the face right as she comes out oh I was oh I thought her health was lower than that Heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up. Yeah, there she goes. So one healing gourd more than normal. And I still have a resurrection if I want to. Wow, that's a heavy one. Ah, oh, that's a jump. Always need to jump on those. Oh, wow. Distance. And sweeps. Lots and lots of sweeps.
Oh god, 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 I jumped on the tree for by accident. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, no, no. I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. I got it. And then the next one with the mortal blink because she's immortal. Here we go. Mortal blade in the face. Goodbye, wormpy worm. Holy crap. Immortality severed. Whew. Oof. Wow. The true monk. Jesus Christ, it was a tough boss battle, but really cool because it built up towards the harder section. So the first one was just all about the flex. And the further you got, the more she started to work in some combos to so the magic attacks and then the more hard-working sweeps and the poison well the third at the final phase. So that was really cool. The corrupted monk guarded the bridge leading to the Fountainhead Palace, but she also protected the Bridal Cave. So she's a protector of the entrance to the Fountainhead Palace twice, which is interesting. And then a dragon's tally board. A tally board carved from a large piece of jade. Possessing this increases the stocks that can be purchased in merchants' shops. Such a tally board is highly prized by the merchant class. Old custom dictates that those of dragon rank are recognized as supreme merchants by the Imperial Palace and should be given the best possible treatment. Okay. So that might open up some options there. We got a second skill point for it. Uh, and I'm just gonna rest. Getting my resurrection nodes back. And then I'm gonna enhance our attack power once again. The corrupted monk was among the infested, standing over the Fountainhead Palace. Indeed, immortality would seem a fitting quality for Eternal Watcher of the Palace. Her true name is Priestess Zhao. Okay, that's fair enough. Attack power has been enhanced. I don't need to use a Dragon Rod, because I haven't gotten any, even though I died quite a bit. I'm fine with everything there is. I haven't really got any new techniques either, and the music is kicking in, by the way. This is really nice. So we're heading into... Oh. Well, that seemed a bit unnecessary. Look at this place. So let's find this one. Commune with it. The Vermilion Bridge. I don't see a bridge anymore, but this looks fancy. Are there any items here? Oh, I know I missed one item because when we were on the Straw Giant, we could actually see it, but I was too excited about this colorful bridge. To check that out. So if we go across his arm, on the other side, there's an item over here. And that's just pallets. Okay, never mind. This looks awesome though. So the Vermilion Bridge must be the bridge we just crossed. Since, you know, it's a bridge and it's Vermilion. Can we see something from here? Well, it's definitely the Fountainhead Palace, because... The water has been streaming downwards from there, so makes sense that we should be somewhere high up where there is water continuously flowing downwards. But that seems like a lot of water. Where is that coming from? It seems to be coming from even higher, probably from the palace itself. Jumping down, risking our lives again. Don't know how anybody else would reach this than us. Because we have that fancy grappling hook. I don't know what to do now, though. Is there a path? forward or do we just need to jump ah we didn't take any fall damage from that because usually from that height i would think that we take fall that oh that's a nice detail so when we were at the guardian apes uh watering hole there were actually pieces of houses down there we were wondering what that was this seems to be pretty much the same thing but it seems like the water was too the current was too strong and it wiped away some of the buildings here. But I'm assuming this place isn't all that friendly. There's more of those ministers over there. So those are the ministers, right? Yeah. 
I think I can probably sneak up on her. There we go. And that kills this guy in one go? Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Let's take the money. And just take a look around. So we can go inside of the buildings or outside. I would think to first start with the buildings inside. So these guys are playing. But I don't like them playing. Because that usually made in the Amiibu village that made for some really bad illusions. There we go. Just gonna stealthily kill these all off. And what is this? Blue twinkly lights. Um, I could probably go in there. Because there's an item in the middle there. Unless there's something in the water that they don't want me to see. Oh god, what was that? Oh wow, Jesus fucking Christ. I got it, I got it reversaled. Okay, so I need to kill that thing. Is that Tomoe herself? That must be then. I deflected that one. That was cool, that's the first time I did a lightning reversal. Okay, let's stay inside then for now, because the water probably conducts the electricity as well. Which calls me to take a bit of damage. Or, because I see that guy looks pretty much the same, so it might be just multiple guys of the same sort. There's more items over there. Don't know if I need to be careful with the current, that it would pull me downwards. So yeah, there's definitely multiples of those guys. Seem to be disciples of Tomoe then. I can't jump down on them, but there are dudes over here. Oh god, he saw me. Okay. How difficult are these guys? There we go. So those are the same kind of lizardy people as the minstrels. Because I was wondering why they, their necks extended like that, but that makes sense. Wait, are they jumping up? There we go. If you deflect that, we're actually fine. Ah. There we go. Easy peasy. Just deflect everything. Eel liver. So that's the lightning defense stuff if I'm not mistaken. So I'm guessing these guys are what happens when you drink too much of the fountainhead waters. So they start to become so eel-like. I should probably kill that guy. He's meditating. I'm getting hit from the other side as well, yeah. Oh wow! Well, there's three more where that came from. Going down, going down, going down, going down, going down, okay. You can follow me over here, buddy. There we go. Relentless attacking seems to work as well. Now we need to be careful, so I was on that roof before. So I might actually be able to backstab at least one of these guys. So yeah, this guy, I'm definitely going to be able to backstab. Then this guy as well. So, wait a second. Oh, wait. Sekiro, are you okay? You look kind of dark. His eyes look a bit dark. There we go. And that's killed all of them. We got scrap magnetite. There doesn't seem to be another hole in the roof. Like before, but there's definitely another illusion player down there. So I'm just gonna try and see if I can enter the building over here somewhere. Otherwise, it's gonna be through the front door. Okay, I take that back. There's a, a giant opening on the other side of the building. I don't know what these guys actually do.
Jesus. They almost immediately tired me. That was creepy. Lump of fat wax, though. An amiibo balloon of wealth. But this is... Is this the other side, then? Oh, that's all there is to it. Okay. Then I'm guessing the next stop is towards those wolfy thingies. Still have five healing cords, so I'm fine on that front. Just gonna see if I can take out one of those wolves without doing anything fancy. I don't think those are normal wolves. They look a bit, well, high on the water. They look. Wait, what is wrong with their faces? I'm gonna see in a second. Are those? What the hell is that? Those look like fishy faces. So they also die in one hit though. The noise they make, it's like a frog. They're frog dogs. For dogs. For, for, dog, for dogs. That's weird, frog dogs, but they didn't seem to be that much of a threat. Those guys are there. I'm um, just gonna go in and kill that guy. Oh god! They can do electricity! Ow! There we go. So the frog dogs can do electricity. Can perform electrical attacks. Cost me one healing gourd, no biggie. Hopping on the ceiling. Another piece of adamantite scrap. Uh, more frogo doggos. But if we're quiet, we might be able to get past the Frogo Dogos. They are eating something that I might want to do. There's also sleeping Frogo Dogos. Like this one. There we go. Just gonna leave those Frogo Dogos be. Ow, ow. That's another healing gourd down. More e liver. And that's basically it for that piece. For that bit. So let's check out. Ooh, the doggos are in the building. And there we go. Oh, he's not dead. He's not dead. Die, Frogo Doggo. Okay. Those are down. More sugar. Oh, and that's what I wanted to see. That's what I wanted to see. I am curious though. I'm gonna commune with it, but I'm probably not gonna rest that it just yet. Because I still have three healing gourds, which is fine. And that's of course, there's a freaking boss battle after this. But that would be really quickly after the last one. Uh, although, we've been doing a boss fight every single episode now. But let's commune with this. It also gives us a view at our skill points and money, which is fine by now. I haven't rested yet, but I'm going to take a little break. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, because we're finally getting closer to the Dragon Palace, the Fountainhead Palace. So uh, thank you guys enormously for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Goodbye!